Hey there, this is Bug Powder Dust. Thank you once again for joining me for episode 8 of Prison Architect Alpha 26. Let's play. So at the end of yesterday's episode, I was really thrown by the fact that, well, we had 20 max sec prisoners arrive, which was fine, we had plenty of space. But what happened was is we had two um, ex-law enforcement people arrive, as you can see. One of them's here. So what I had to do, I wasn't expecting two, I wasn't even expecting one so quickly, so I had to hastily change the holding cell to uh, to be a um, uh, protective custody area, as you can see. Protective only, it's all yellow. Then I was left with a problem is, um, I couldn't work out why none of these two were being taken to the cells. So I figured out what that was for one of them. And then one of them stayed out here. And I was tearing my hair out, couldn't really work out what the problem was. But as it turns out, if somebody's in handcuffs in your jail, then it means they're waiting to go to solitary, right? And it stands out. But because they all arrive in handcuffs, it wasn't. It didn't uh, occur to me that I'd search this guy and we'd found that weapon on him. So what he was doing is he was waiting to go to solitary. And of course, there are no solitary cells laid out for protective custody. Medium sec, high sec. So what I had to do very quickly was create a solitary cell for protective custody. And he's being walked in now. So that was a bit of a weird one, but I'm glad I got to the bottom of it. Um, yeah. And regarding these hearses, apparently other people have been <laughs> noticing this as well uh, on the forum. And apparently it's, uh, I think it's a bug with the old, her the old uh, hearse issue. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to show you was um, I also took the opportunity to carve out an area for protective custody. They can't stay here. Two people in here is not enough. And also then we're going to have problems for food and canteen and kitchen and stuff. We can't have them mixing with the the, uh, the main population. I had it once where I had like a canteen and kitchen like here. And I had a protective custody wing down here somewhere. Obviously it wasn't this prison, it was another one. But even on his way from the protective area to the canteen, even though he was eating outside of the times the others were, they, they would kind of pass in the corridor and, and he got stabbed up and killed in the corridor. So I've kind of learnt my lesson the hard way there. What I've done here is I've created this kind of this wing. They got uh, five cells and a shower area. They got a yard, they got a solitary, kitchen, canteen. That should be all they need, in theory. Um, this yard is going to be inside, though, technically. I'm wondering if maybe I, I could, could have done this a little bit better. I mean, it is outside, but it's inside. I don't know if the game takes that into account. Um, so what I'm going to do, without further further ado, I am going to basically um, just zone this out and get this done very quickly. Because this is going to be open. The backs of these areas are going to be open, and I can do without uh, any problems from prisoners. So let me just zone that out like so. Well, let's get the guys working on it. Come on, chaps. Sort this out. And I'm going to stick the door in just so it completes. Stick that there. Do -do. And while we're doing that, I'm going to also gonna have to... So electricity is fine there, by the looks of it. Bring some water down. Okay, that's cool. Let's slow that down a bit. Right, next thing we need to do is build the brick, brick walls back up. Oh, what's that not working? Materials, brick wall. There we go. So there's going to be no access from here. Oh, I just made, I realised I made a mistake. I shouldn't have. Yeah, I've well, actually really balls that up. I shouldn't have done that. Um, I need to make this an outside area. Can yards be inside? I think they can. Yeah, it doesn't have to be outside. Okay. Let's let's find out the hard way. If I bulldoze this area, what happens? Lots and lots and lots of noise in the background. Let me just deal with that now. Sorry about that. Okay. Right. Now, while that's doing that, um, we need to basically expand this into being outside as well. And stick in another door just there. So for access to the kitchen. Okay. I see, so by deconstructing this, it's just returning it back to outside effectively. That's great, which means I can do the same up here now. I wasn't really sure what would happen if that happened, if we bulldoze, but that, that's cool. Good stuff. I'm glad that's had a happy ending. What's this going on here? Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay. Right. That's cool. So all the brick walls back up. Um, let's speed that up a little bit. 
And a function itself has a yard. Actually, I'm not going to do any zoning, proper actual zoning yet until all this is built, because it's just going to ask you for trouble otherwise. Right, materials and brick walls. And let's make the. The shower's going to go there. So the kitchen area's been built. Canteen. Yeah, how are they going to get in? Didn't think that one through, did I? Mm. Okay, that's that's not a massive problem. What we're going to do is we'll allow them in so they come along here and just basically enter the canteen. I can put a door in there and a door in there, they'll, they'll just come around. So that is not an issue. Let's just stick in doors. Anyway, and then we're going to demolish this wall here. And that one there. No, I'm not going to demolish anything, just, sorry, that one and that one. Okay, so they can get into and out of the canteen. And that's all good. Right, cool. This is going to be just a con kind of a concrete area, just so for ease of access. Also, because that wall's going up, we actually need a door in here as well. Let's stick in a jail door. In there. And a brick wall goes there. Okay, good. So that's all taking shape. The other thing you need to do just to prep this is to run a large pipe. Oh god, there's no large pipes anywhere near here, is there? Put a large pipe down to there. Small pipes. And run a small pipe over. That's for the showers. This one goes across the cells. And then back up on the other side. Okay. I'll tell you what I missed here. I missed the kind of a common room area. Which I'm going to make up here, I think. I can I can make it up here, can't I? Just to make sure there's no issues. Does the common room have to be a certain size? No, but it has to be indoors. Okay, and this is considered to be an outdoor area now. Okay. That's that's fine. I understand that. Okay, uh, let's get some grass down. Just to make it beautified. Let's get that. Okay, object solitary door. One, two, three, and four. Gonna stick a normal door in there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And do it for now. Ah, eating. Yeah, so this is the issue. I reckon he, we, he can get on with these guys. If we just they don't eat for a day. That's probably going to be a good thing to shut these guys in as well. Um, yeah, they're going to be hungry. But as soon as I get if I get this up and running quite quickly, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, right, kitchen. That's the next thing we need to do. Kitchen objects we need to put in. Because it's not zoned as a kitchen, it's not giving me the options. We need a cooker. We need a fridge. And we need a sink. Okay. Then for the canteen, we need a bench, a table, sorry two benches. There's not going to be very many people in here as it stands, so that shouldn't be a problem on a serving table. It's a very long serving table. Um, let's move these objects. I don't like the fact it's placed in here. Let's get rid of that. Um, objects. So we're going to get, um, let's do this again, table, there, bench, there, there, 
Okay. Right. Next, utilities. We need to run electricity down to the kitchen. Let's just go across. Now we need to get piping across to the sink. Okay. Cool. Rooms, solitary. One, two, three, four. And stop. Whoops. And deployment. in yet so that's the problem. Let's get that. It's open. It's open. It's open. These guys are gonna be getting hungry. Oh he's starving. Damn. Um I can do that these guys dying on me. He's starving as well. What time is it? Regime, norm security Maximum security. They eat at ten o'clock anyway, don't they? While the other, while the others are in bed. Okay, let's just relax that for now, so they can go and eat later. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Okay. Keep me on my toes. Just make sure these guys don't wander off. Beforehand. No, he's sleeping. So this lot are eating, that lot are eating. Everyone cool? Let's just make sure everyone's cool. Yep. It's a family issue. People aren't getting visitation and stuff. Visitation is still going on, isn't it? Yeah. These guys should be getting fed in half an hour. So when they come out, I need to micro their progress because there's still going to be people left. Damn, it's 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, okay. Try to custody. They 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 have to eat. They got to eat. They gotta eat now. Come on guys. If I just micro what they're doing. Let me just open that cell door for them. Right, where's guards? Guards, get here. That's it. Get in there guys. Eat. Eat. Need more guards. Where are the other guards? Guards, 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 where are you? There you go. Get in there. You guys. It's because I allotted two hours. It's just obviously the, the cooking. They've not allotted cooking for them. I'm going to actually put a guard on patrol in here. Guard patrol. Used to be all in here anyway. Okay. There you go. They bring out food to them now? Yes. Excellent. Right, guys, eat. You got an hour and a bit. Eat, eat, go on, eat. There's only one. Okay, how about another one? He's bringing 20 out. Okay. Come on. No, I'll open up for you. Go. I don't need you dying because you're starving. Go, eat, eat, you, go, eat. Burgess, Burgess, eat, please. He's got the right idea. Burgess, I need you to eat. Come on, dude. It's not micromanaging, you flipping heck. Right, anyway. Well, look, eat or don't eat, it's up to you. Right, uh, rooms, yard, yard. Bosh. Um, yard deployment, test only. Here we go. Right. Oh, have I made a. I made a bodge here, haven't I? I've made a bodge. Dismantle that, and that should be solitary. Um, okay. Right. Uh, rooms. Cells. Cells. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
You're escaping, aren't you? No, 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 no. Ah, oh, damn. It's a staff door, so we should be able to get to you. Guards, get down here. Guards, get down here. Where are you going? Guys, get him. Get him. Smack, smack. <laughs> nice try. That has, however, highlighted a bit of an issue. So when these guys work, they bring out the garbage. Mm. Okay. I'll add that to my list of a million things I need to do when I finish babysitting these flipping protective... They're eating now. Okay, good. Right, um, let's get back to this and finish this off. Um, cell. Room. Cell. 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 Um, I've not put doors on them. That's a bit of an oversight. Planning. Let's get rid of that. I need doors on these. PDQ. Uh, jail door. One, two, three, five. Okay. Materials, concrete materials. Then these are going to be uh, protected custody only. Objects. No. Protected. That whole block is protected. That whole block is protected. All this is protected. No other mean baddies can come in here. That open. Right. I think. That should do it. As soon as they get um, doors on these cells, I'm going to um, turn that back to a holding area, and I'm going to make um, force them to be relocated to here. So that should do the trick. Let's just make those solitary doors normal. Objects. Right now, in the yard, I need to um, in this yard here. Let's put a stick in a pool table. Stick in some weights, benches. And some phones, of course. Get some phones on. There's phones. Phones. What else do you want in a, in a yard? TVs. No. Uh, yeah, why not? A couple of TVs and a stick of bench. Bench, bench, bench. As well. Okay. Good. the hell? Two deaths. <laughs> oh, come on. What are you fighting much yourself for? Volatile is dead. And um, extremely volatile is dead. Oh, they kicked off. Do you reckon they kicked off? Although, what's going to happen though? We need to get all our guards up there though. This is a proper riot. There's one dude. One guard, is that it? No, no, come on. You, what are you doing? Respond. What's this guy like there? Is he... Nope. He's alright. Where's the dog handlers? Where's the dog handlers? Dog, 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 dog sleeping? There's one dog there. Can we get you in here? Go. Let's have to go the long way around. Oh, put him down. Okay. The moral of this story is when you take your eye off the ball for, for too long with Maxec prisoners, they tend to squabble amongst themselves, and yes. Okay, well that stuffs up the value of my prison. What I need to do now, which I meant to do and forgot, is to assign guard patrols for the yard. What I need to do is actually make a guard patrol. Um, so let's just look around up here. Because that's a flashpoint, really. Okay. 50 prisoners and 8 guards, is that enough? Probably not. Right. Oh, I need to sort that drains out as well, don't I? Okay. These doors in. What's wrong now? No bed and toilet, yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. No. Let's make all these exactly the same. Um. Yep. Okay. 
At least the hearses have uh, something to do now. What that's demonstrated is that this is too long and guards can't respond quickly enough. What I need to do is put a little shortcut area in here so they can get to it. I didn't really think that out, did I? Yeah. So he's been taken to the infirmary, presumably. This guy. Infirmary? Yeah, medical bed. Okay. Of course, they don't. Yeah. If I made that staff door, this whole thing wouldn't be such a drag for these workmen, but that's the way it is, unfortunately. Right, let's speed this up. That door being there is a little bit annoying. Oh. Jail door open, jail door open, jail door open, and jail door open. Right, go. Do it. Appears I forgot to put a toilet and bed in this cell. Oops, bed. Hours. Okay, oops. oops. Both cells are done. I believe it's all still. Yep, okay, good. So they're ready to go. That piping is coming. What I'm going to do, I'm now going to remove these cells and make this shared. No, I need to eject them completely. So I need to make this, um, let's say, supermax only. So they're going to become got by the guards and they're going to be moved. Presumably, or do they move themselves? Let's find out. I think they're moving themselves. Yep. Ah, oh, good stuff. Makes it easier. Cool. I know the score. Excellent. Okay, so we've managed to re rehouse them. Uh, let's get the TVs plugged in. Oops, wrong one. Oh, there, 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 there. And we're going to turn this back into a holding area. Do we need to do that? Should I just keep this as it is? We don't need holding area. I'm going to keep that as it is, just as a kind of a spare. Um, so if we suddenly get an influx of ex-law enforcement for some reason, then we have a little bit of wiggle room. It doesn't need to be holding cell. Right. Now, the thing is, Seeing as they've got their own space now, we don't need to put these guys on lockup so much. We can just give them a ton of free time. At least then they'll maybe be a little bit happy. Um, regime. So let's go to protective custody. Let's give them free time. There we go. And also, they, they can get to sleep earlier, quite frankly. Um, we don't eat. They get three squares a day. Can't argue with that. They also get more sleep, I think. There's no point getting them up early if they don't have to. Give them the same routine as the others now. Three times, just they don't do any work, that's all. Okay. So that's open. Yeah, I see this is going to be a problem. I need to mark this area as... Um, staff only, so they don't wander off. But I can't, because it hasn't got a perimeter. Mm. Okay. Not entirely happy with this this whole thing, but it's good enough for now, I think. Right, now we've done that, I can actually turn my eye to something else in this prison, other things, now we've um, got these guys sorted. So the thing I need to do most here was sort these drains out. Put in it does seem to me that there's only down the bottom is a problem with the, the drains. Uh, maybe. Okay. Right. It's got showers going on there. What? Have we got a water problem? Oh, I'll tell you what we have got is a capacitor problem. I'll take my eye off that ball, haven't I? Right, capacitors. One, two, three. Now, why are they flashing blue? Is that just a glitch? Appears that this is not connected up to anything. These guys. Uh, when I. 
when I cleared this, did it move the pipe? Oh, well, that one Okay. I want to sort those guys out. There's plenty here as well. Okay, so at least their toilet's going to work again now. Right. In terms of... Let's just have a look now. Next law enforcement. We're in a tough hombres in, haven't we? Tough, slight like fillers. I'm going to call in our confidential informant though, that's another chap. Oh. Hang on. Oh, you see what's happened here? Because I forgot to put the canteen back to uh, med medsec only. The uh, Maxsec boys have wandered in. Well, you wander off again, boys. Oh, there we go. Hang on, let's get a contraband. Informants. Okay, there we go. Right, so what have we got? We've got, in the cleaning cupboard, there's some poison. We've got... Is that on him? I'm just, I'm just making out this guy's name. Must be. James Busby. And we've got some cells. we also... Had some bad stuff in it. So... It's just those two, is it? Mm, okay. So number four. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 4, 17 and 18. Now is that in the cell? In the doom? Yeah. It's 4, 17 and 18. Okay. Thank you. Right, Busby, you need to be searched. Search prisoner. It was f number 4. 17 and 18. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 and 18. Okay. Good. Sorts that out. Now, going back to needs, everything's okay. Food is still a bit of an issue. Where's he going? Yeah, I'm always a bit suspicious of people going to the yard. So, what we do need, we need, need another CCTV up here. Okay, looks like everything's back on an even keel. We've got the kitchen working there for max sec only. These guys are still hanging about like it ain't no thang. Even though I've masked off the area, but I, th I guess they were there already. Oh. Hmm, okay. These guys really need to leave. I'm sure it'll take effect when everyone's left them. Stuff. And we need CCTV in here as well. Ew. Something switched off. No. Okay, capacitors being installed. That's what I'd like see. Well, that was a fairly stressy uh, episode in a bit there, I think. Trying to get these um, these guys sorted out. But I think they're okay now. What we did miss out is actually putting... A <laughs> we did miss out actually zoning these. Um, so where are they eating? I'm guessing I need to do something very quick sharp here. Uh, damn, I thought we missed something. The kitchen. There we go. Canteen. There we go. That needs a door. And we need to... Yep, oh, that's already sorted out there. Deployment. Jobs. You require bureau what? Oh, it's because it's locked, I guess. That's because there, there's no door on it. That's what the problem is. Doors being fitted now. Thank you very much. So let's try that now. Deployment, jobs. Next jobs one. Well, that put the that will probably put one of these guys to work, wouldn't it? I'm, I'm assuming so. And on that basis, I don't want to mess around with a jobs thing though. Because if one of them gets a job in the laundry by mistake or something like that, that's going to be a massive issue. And you can't zone to say, yeah, you can allow max second, medium second laundry, but not protective. It doesn't work that way. It's either shared or it's one. So, okay. 
So all is calm after two deaths today. Yeah. Next thing's next. We need to set up a workshop. Finally get that running. Let's take a look at the programs we've got running here. What's programs? Programs. So there's loads of people interested in this. That's cool. Let's reschedule that to get them. There's certainly space for them. Three interested, four finished, three passed. That's good. Five in queue. Um, where is this one done? It's a doctrine of firm, so we can only really do two at a time. That's a shame. I need to expand that out, really. Alcoholics group therapy, that's in a common room, says two in a queue. Workshop safety is 18 interested. Alright, I think that, uh, that says it already. We need to get a workshop up and running. Uh, make, some, make some moolah. This is going to be an expensive outlay. Let's see what the grants I can do very quickly. Security procedure, 10 guards. Um, unlock patrols, assign three guards patrol routes. That's actually going to be fairly easy because we just need to employ another two, two guards, um, which I think we need anyway. Assign three guards to patrol routes. Okay, so I've got two currently patrolling, one in the yard up here and one uh, in the canteen. I think we probably need another guard just patrolling this max sec building. Um, guard patrols. Oh no, the dog's doing that. Where are there no guards? Stick a guard up here because that way we have visibility of these cells and also in the shower. Okay, great, and that's the grant done. That's easy, isn't it? Um, what's next? Two dog handlers and two. Oh, okay, we won't get that yet. Three persons working the laundry, the kitchen, and the cleaning cupboard. Laundry, kitchen, cleaning cupboard. Oh, cleaning cupboard. I didn't. I didn't get anyone to go in here, did I? To look for the poison. I might have missed my chance. I think I did because it was in the bottom right hand corner, do you remember? So I think I'll probably miss my chance and that poison's gone. Let's just get him to search these. Anyway, the reason I was looking here was... No, there's no, no guards working. Oh no, there is. Yeah, there is three. So it's three in the... What did it say? Uh, three in the laundry. Check. Kitchen. One kitchen's got three in, hasn't it? That's now. Uh, and the cleaning cupboard, three. So, yep, take that. Awesome. Great. Easy easy money. Um, unlocked health, psychology. Uh, what do you have to do? Single, single, lo oh, <laughs> I did that last time. That was alright, actually. 30 license plates, short term investment, sub block C. Okay. Right, so we've got a bit of cash. What we're going to do is um, start planning the workshop. But I'm, I'm going to actually fill up the workshop in the next episode. So, um, sorry this w this was so micromanaging, but I really had to get this, this alternative uh, protective custody wing up and running um, and, uh, and working properly. Otherwise, these guys would have been killed. Um, and that, that's really not cool. So I just wanted to get that sorted. Um, first, you have to excuse the, uh, the, the focus of this episode. I wanted to make it a little bit more generalised, but, um, but there you go. Such as uh, such as running a prison. So what I do need to do before I go is connect up to the CCTV up there. There we go. So now we get a little bit of seeing what's going on in the max sec area. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, and I will catch you next time. Take care. Cheers. Bye.